Good morning. My name is Landon Massingill, and I am the senior class president. It is a great honor to welcome my fellow graduates, faculty members, family, and friends to the graduation of the class of 2023. Graduation is the most significant event in a student's life. We have all worked incredibly hard for the last 12 years to reach this point. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to thank our family and friends for their love and constant support. From staying up late and helping with homework to running to the store last minute for posters for projects. Our parents and guardians have been there for us and we thank you. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would also like to thank the faculty at Cumberland Gap High School. We thank you for the knowledge and lessons you've shared with us. Fellow graduates, I wish you all the best of luck in this next chapter of our lives. The past four years have given us incredible memories and experiences while preparing us for our future. As Thomas Jefferson once said, if you want something you have never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. In closing, I would once again like to welcome and thank everyone for the support of the class of 2023. God bless you all. Thank you, Landon. What class of 2023, what great support you have. Thank you all for being here this morning. My name is David Hamilton. I'm the principal here at Cumberland Gap High School. And on behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration, we would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023, the 20th graduating class here at Cumberland Gap High School. The class of 2023 always rises above and nothing, not even the weather, can stand in the way of us celebrating your special day. We are here to recognize all of you, the outstanding young men and women seated here before us. It is also important to recognize those who have guided you here today. I would like to welcome parents, grandparents, family and friends, but more importantly, I would like to thank you for being a part of these young men and women's lives. It is your love, support, encouragement, and commitment to these amazing students that has allowed them to be where they are today. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform. First of all, my assistant principals, Ms. Whitney Bowling. <laughs> Mr. Daniel Satterfield. Our Interim Director of Schools, Mr. Bob Oaks. Our School Board Members, First District Board Member, Mr. Shane Bunch. Second District, Ms. Juanita Honeycutt. Fifth District, Ms. Linda Fultz. I'd like to welcome the mayor of the city of Harrogate, Mr. Troy Poor. <laughs> Mr. Poor was the first principal here at Cumberland Gap High School, and I'd like to thank him for all of his contributions to CJHS over the years. The mayor of Claiborne County, Mr. Joe Brooks. <laughs> the sheriff of Claiborne County, Mr. Bobby Brooks. Thank each of you for being here with us today. And now I would like to recognize our exceptional faculty who have played an integral part in each graduate's high school journey. Our faculty has ensured that each of you have the tools you need to lead you on a path to success, no matter what your pursuit may be. Notably, eight of our faculty are graduates of Cumberland Gap High School. Faculty, if you would please, please stand. Thank you. A graduation ceremony represents the accumulation of years of hard work and the actualization of goals attained. May your years ahead continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and a strong work ethic. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and a privilege watching your, your progress and success. 
as you take this next step, I want to encourage you to believe in yourself and follow your dreams, but never, never quit. One last thing, take pride in where you're from and always know CGHS will always be here to support you. How about that Panther pride? At this time, salutatorians and valedictorians, please come forward. Our salutatorian not speaking today is Mr. Wesley Ty Wilson. Our valedictorian not speaking today is Mr. Tyler Aller. And the first valedictorian speaking today is Mr. Jace Bailey. Thank you, thank you. Let's give another big round of applause for the class of 23. First off, I'd like to welcome friends, family, and attendees. We are here today to celebrate a huge milestone in all of our lives, graduation. I'd like to start out by addressing my peers before me. Ms. Sharon once told me to look to your left and to your right, and chances are that you won't see a large majority of these people again. Now, whether you take that as a good thing or as a bad thing is up to you. But let it be known that we could not have done it without each other. To my friends, thank you for all that you've done. I will miss you dearly as we part our ways. To the original Ellen Myers crew, thanks for sticking around all these 12 years. To the ones who have joined a little late to the party, better late than never, Rot right, Madison. Shout out to Shay Sickhouse for bringing me not only new friends, but family into my life. Thanks for being my first job. CJHS, I am honored to be one of your great valedictorians. This has been a dream of mine ever since I was nine years old. I would be lying if I said that I haven't pretended that I treated high school as if it was just one long episode of Survivor. Now, don't hate me, Mom, but I'm going to have to get a little sad for a minute. All this hard work and dedication was set in motion my eighth grade year when my great-grandmother passed away. Della Pearl, I miss you dearly, and I cannot wait till we meet again. Grandma, I will always be your boy and your part-time chauffeur. Never forget that. Mom and Dad, I have absolutely cherished all of our moments together. To my beautiful sisters, Jayla and Jordan, I love you guys and remember to keep causing trouble. To the one that's gonna hurt me the most, Jenna, my sweet girl, I love you so much. And if your sisters punch you, you punch them right back. Class of 23, I wish all of you the best on your fruitful journey. We've had a lot of laughs, a lot of cries, and a whole lot of weird. High school gets a bad rep for being the best four years of your life, but I don't like to think of it like that. See, we have the entire rest of our lives to enjoy. Why can't it all be good? Class of 23, I hope you can all look back on old years and all the old yearbooks and have nothing but fond, Cherished memories. I'd like to end with a quote from one of my all-time favorite shows, Parks and Recreation. It goes, treat yourself. Don't be a stranger, class of 23. See you next summer. Ladies and gentlemen, our next valedictorian, Miss Allison Brock. Welcome all fellow classmates, parents, teachers, and administration. It is finally the day we have dreamt about since we stepped through the doors of high school. We appreciate you all coming out to support the class of 23 in this monumental moment in our lives that sends us off to the start of adulthood. As I stand in front of this crowd, all of the memories from the past four years run through my head. We should all be so proud of our accomplishments we have made to walk across this stage. It is such an honor to stand before you all today as one of the valedictorians representing Cumberland Gap High School. 
We have all worked our whole lives to be where we are today, all the late nights studying, trying to keep up with all the new material, and many hours doing homework after a long practice has all finally paid off. When I say this, I'm sure I can speak for a few others. This road has not been easy at all. It has been filled with many obstacles and hard times. However, all the tears and struggles have been extremely rewarding. I cannot ask for a better group of people to be able to grow up with and make all of these memories with. Next, I wanna say a few thank yous. I wanna say thank you to my family, my mom who has always been my biggest cheerleader, my dad who always knows how to cheer me up, and I know that I'm making the ones that are no longer with me so proud. I next wanna thank my sweet friends who have always stuck by my side all throughout school. Without you all, this would have been much, much more boring. Thank you all for the fun, goofy, and exciting high school memories that everyone dreams of having. And most importantly, I want to thank the Lord for blessing me each and every day. Without him, none of this would be possible. Thank you to all these amazing teachers who have led me and guided me throughout these few years. And I want to give a special thank you to some of the coaches that have taught me so many valuable things and changed my life for the better. Thank you to Coach Childs for teaching me discipline and to never give up when things start to become difficult. Thank you to Coach Lori Kimbrough for bringing me to the sport I love, all the hilarious moments during soccer season, and teaching me that winning isn't always the most important thing. It's the memories you make along the way that makes you laugh the hardest that's considered a win. I know it is sad that this chapter of our lives is ending, but there is so much more in store for us in the future. We will always have these memories to push us along the way in life. This is the moment we have spent the last four years preparing for. Everyone always told me these four years of high school would be the fastest years of my life, and they were absolutely right. As everyone goes their separate ways to their college, the military, or going off to work, it is important that we all remember the people who helped us get to where we are and to never let their help go unappreciated. Before I end my speech, I would like to leave you all with a Bible verse. In everything you do, put God first, and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Proverbs 3, 6. Thank you, Cumberland Gap, for your amazing memories that will last a lifetime, and thank you to the faculty and staff for preparing us for this next chapter in our lives. See you in the fall, Johnson City. <clears throat> the next valid Victorian speaking is Miss Brianna Berman Goins. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life, electric word life, that means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. Oops, wrong speech. I'm Brianna Goins, and I have enjoyed every second of these last four years within the walls of Cumberland Gap High School. I'm forever thankful for the people in my life within these walls that have helped mold me into the woman I'm growing into today. I would first like to give God the glory for giving me the ability and opportunity to be on this stage as one of your valedictorians today. Next, I would like to thank my mom, Nicole, for continuously pushing me to be a better person. Thanks for always playing the devil's advocate, mom, and allowing me to get a look at all sides before making a big decision. To my dad, Brian, thanks for always being my calm voice of reason and picking up our slack, and being my very own fix-it Felix. If my dad can't fix it, no one probably can. Thank you to my siblings for always humbling me and never allowing me to think too highly of myself. To my sister, Sierra, thanks for being a hard act to follow. I will go further in life because you set the bar so high for me. And to my brother, Levi, yes, you can always FaceTime me and I will tell you if that shirt matches those pants. I'm so grateful for all of our faculty and staff that have played a role within my high school experience. Thank you, Mr. Davis, for allowing us to experience new things and teaching me how to clean a dove, gut a deer, and package the meat. I couldn't have made it without our Tom Notch front office workers and our awesome ag advisors, Melinda, Bobby, and a special thanks to Ms. Tamara, as she has always presented me with leadership opportunities through FFA and helped push me into them even when I'm a little bit scared. Lastly, my high school experience would not have been, been nearly as exciting for some of us without our girls soccer team winning two district titles, two regional titles, Cumberland Gap High School's first ever sectional win and first state appearance our sophomore year. And of course, we will never forget all, making it all the way to the state championship game our senior year. To my teammates, my girls, thanks for an unforgettable record-breaking run and helping me to know what true unselfish teamwork feels like. I especially have to thank our fearless leader, Coach Lolo Kimbrough, for pushing us to make us better athletes and people. Looking back on my last 15 years of schooling, a few things stick out to me. 
Like in kindergarten, Miss Amy would reward every one of her students who could count from one to 100 with a bright, colorful ball that everyone wanted. Then in fourth grade, when I had such a hard time learning long division, I had a special teacher come to my house to teach it to me because I just couldn't handle being behind. Thanks, Aunt Leanne. Then in sixth grade, when to everyone's surprise, I decided to try out for dance instead of basketball. Thanks, Miss Danielle, for giving me a chance and teaching me to be graceful. That ended up coming in really handy at the Ferris of the Fair pageant this year. Moving on to when several of us were in eighth grade at Livesey, our eighth grade song was Country Roads. Now, some of you may think that this is bizarre or hilarious. However, we thought the uniqueness of this song matched us just perfectly. In the words of John Denver, these country roads take me home to the place where I belong. Standing here in front of you all today, home to me are these country roads to Cumberland Gap High School, the CGHS soccer field, Maggie's snow cone shop, my friend's houses, Miss Tamara's room 816, parking spot B2, and these people. I think the hardest part of this whole growing up thing will be leaving these people who I've been in school with for 2,340 days or 13 years. I've always loved the last day of school. There's such a sense of anticipation and excitement in the air. Final bell at 2.50, watching my friends run out the door with the hopes of catching a glimpse of sunshine. But I'm 18 now, enjoying senior sunrises, proms, and college signings, experiencing events I have waited my whole life for, now only existing as memories. I used to love the last days because I knew we'd all see each other again. Same time, same place, same people. But now it is our last day, and this time we won't be coming back here all together. But I hope that these country roads will always bring each of us back home to the place where we belong. We did it. We made it. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. Your next valedictorian speaking is Ms. McKenzie Hatfield. Welcome friends and family to the class of 2023 graduation ceremony. My name is Mackenzie and I'm one of the many valedictorians that will be speaking today. I want to start with thanking the people who have gotten me through these last four years. Most importantly, I want to thank God for all the opportunities he has given me throughout these four years and the ones he will continue to give me. I want to thank my parents and grandparents, especially my papa who has been my number one supporter since day one. Thank you to, to the CGHS faculty and staff who managed to keep the senior class in line, mostly. I want to thank Miss Heather for being the best school mom. I want to thank Miss Brandy for being there anytime I needed a pep talk or just needed to know something about life. And I want to thank Miss Griffin for never getting mad at me for switching seats in class, even though she specifically told me not to. I want to thank Kristen, Rachel, and Miss Jennifer and all of my dance girls for being the best teachers and teammates I could ever ask for. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have half of the memories I've made these last 13 years. And last but certainly not least, thank you, class of 2023. Now, don't get me wrong, we have had a lot of ups and downs with each other. Like, a lot. But we have also endured ups and downs together. From a pandemic crashing our freshman year and having to deal with online classes and quarantines that would take us out of school for almost a month at a time, to finally getting to sit in front of you here today to receive the thing we have worked the hardest for, our high school diplomas. Here's to the memories we have made with each other and to the ones we will make in the next chapter of our lives. It's crazy to think that some of us have spent the last 14 years together and we are expected to say goodbye to each other in one day. But whether we've known each other our whole lives or just these last four years, let's remember to cherish these mem the memories we have right now in this moment. Let's remember the funny memories like waiting on the floor outside of Miss Davis's classroom after lunch because we couldn't get rid of the post-lunch giggles, or killing Miss Millet with our meows on field trips because we would always go over our three meow limit. The fun memories like eating one of Mr. Snyder's steaks for the first time or going on one of Ms. Sizemore's hot gore walks with our third block math class on the last day of school. The scary memories like giving your first presentation in Ms. Manning's freshman English class and even the sad memories like not having a good news Friday anymore or having to say goodbye to the people you see every day knowing there's a chance you'll never speak to them again. With that being said, I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Winnie the Pooh. I think we dream so we don't have to be apart for so long. If we're in each other's dreams, we can be together all the time. Congrats, class of 2023. We did it. And always remember, once a panther, always a panther.
The next valedictorian speaking is Natalie Johnson. Good morning, everyone. When I began my freshman year here, someone told me that high school would be the best years of my life. And I'm here to tell you that I don't believe that this is completely true. While I understand what they meant, most of us have no real responsibility or bills to pay or people for whom we're responsible. I'd like to share a different side of the phrase that's been echoing in my brain these last four years. High school will be the best years of your life, but only if you let it. Today and forevermore, I challenge you to forge a life that you want to live every day. Don't spend your life wishing you could be here. Instead, let today be the catalyst for the next wonderful part of your future that you were destined to live. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't trade a single football game, tennis match, or soccer game for anything in the world. These precious memories I've made here are something I will treasure forever. I am so grateful to Coach Lori Kimbrough and Coach Meredith Neely for all of the sacrifice and time put into their teams. To my soccer family, I have had the best time with you and I can't wait to see what the future holds for each of you. I am so proud of the legacy that we're leaving here. Thank you, Tennis, for all of the wonderful friends I've made and the lessons I've learned. It's truly changed my life. To my family, I'm beyond grateful for your support over all these years. Thank you for being patient with me and staying with me every step of the way. You deserve the world and so much more. To my mother, if I could be half of the wonderful and beautiful woman that you are, then I will consider myself a success. To my brother and my best friend, it's been a joy getting to spend my senior year with you, and I'm so grateful that we got to do it together. Most importantly, though, I want to thank God, not only for my future here on earth, but my heavenly future with him in eternity, and I urge you to seek a relationship with him. To the class of 2023, remember to always be good to yourself and to those around you. The most remarkable thing a person can be is kind. I hope that this is just the beginning of the rich and beautiful life that you get to live. I hope that you've loved every second of your time here, and if you haven't, let today be a reminder of your new beginning. So make a life that you want to live. After today, it's all yours for the taking. You're in the driver's seat. This is a wonderful and scary thing all at once, but I know we are all ready for it. All of you have made this the most fun high school experience, and growing up with you is something I will always cherish. This journey has been so, so sweet, and I'm honored that I had my best friends to spend it with. So I'll leave you with this. In the words of Matthew McConaughey, you were the author in the book of your life. Turn the page. Here's to us, class of 2023. We did it. Our next valedictorian speaking is Abby Grace Mayfield. These past four years have been full of many memories and friendships that I will cherish for years to come. The picnics, the most random places with my friends, riding around blasting music before every home soccer game, somehow going to state twice and earning state runner-up this year despite how often we goofed off at practice, eating the same color of Skittle before every game for good luck, the many stupid, weird, sometimes awkward conversations we've had at track practice, drawing lucky froggies on Kennedy's clipboard at every track meet, Nate Hatmaker pulling gum off of my foot at prom junior year, even cleaning out Mr. Davis's storage closet at the end of the year just to get some of the barbecue he was making for his students. I made so many amazing memories that I will cherish for years to come. However, it's also been full of many life lessons in growing up. When I look at who I was freshman year, I see an entirely different person than I see when I look in the mirror today. A lot of personal growth has happened throughout the past four years. And although I know much more growth is to come as I continue through college and life, I would like to thank the people who have helped develop me into the person I am today. First off, I would not be where I am now without God by my side through it all, or without the guidance of my parents, along with the rest of my family, who I've been very grateful to have had by my side to seek advice from, encourage me, and to tell me when I was in the wrong. I would also like to thank Mr. Davis for always being there to advise me or to tell me I was more stubborn than a mule. You helped me with so many situations I wouldn't have otherwise known how to handle. Lastly, I would like to thank my coaches, Lori and Kennedy. You have been phenomenal in always encouraging me to reach my full potential, which carried over from my sports to my academic and career goals. You taught me to always persevere, and for this I am very thankful, even if I may have wanted to quit in the moment because of how hard you pushed me to work harder or run faster, especially on the workout days or in preparation for important games. 
There are many other people who have made a major impact on my life, family, friends, and teachers, but there's no time to name them all. But I want you all to know that I'm very thankful for you. I've had a great high school experience, thanks to the many people I've been blessed to share it with. Advice for any underclassmen, enjoy it. They are not joking when they say high school flies by. I would like to leave you all with this, a Bible verse that's helped me through my highs and lows for the past four years. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Thank you, Carmel and Gap, for everything. Our next valedictorian is Miss Carly Napier. When I think back on my years in high school, I have many happy memories to recount. And while I could use this moment to reflect, I'd rather offer my best advice to you and proclaim the goodness of God. I'd like to share some knowledge with you all that has helped me tremendously. First, it is important to know that God is above all. He loves unconditionally. He never wavers. He never forgets. Unlike us, he is never faced with a problem in which he cannot find the answer to. I cannot come up with the words to describe just how marvelous and wonderful God is, but here is what I know. It is God's will that all are saved and live with him in heaven for eternity. It is God that has given me every good thing in my life, and I know that he has written a success story for each and every one of us. So as you go into the unknown, know this from Psalms 84:11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Now I would like to give credit to my wonderful family. On both sides, I have fun, sweet cousins and caring aunts and uncles. I have the best grandparents in the world. They cheer me on, celebrate me, and I know they love me no matter what. Furthermore, I cannot express how much gratitude I have for my parents. To my daddy, thank you for never failing to work hard and for being the image of strong. We all know that you would do anything for our family and you commit wholeheartedly to everything in your life. You have such a firm moral compass and you're always willing to help those around you. To my mama that continues to wow me, I think that you are one of the most incredible people to ever exist and you are the most selfless person I know. You are the best at celebrating others and making me feel important. You are level-headed, calm, and smart. You always push me to do my best, so much so that you help coach the soccer team and ran us half to death. As you say, we're not done until you're wheezing or throwing up. To my brother Logan, people have no clue how soft you can be, but boy, if they knew how brutal living with you is. Thank you for giving me thick skin and teaching me life's not fair. You have no idea how many times I wish you were here throughout my senior year, but I'm excited to be in college with you. High school would not have been the same without being in constant competition over grades and having your unfailing support. Now I'd like to appreciate some other people that have greatly impacted my high school years for the better. Jimmy Corum and all the people at Elevation. Jimmy, you worked so hard to help me get back to sports and I cannot express how helpful you all were to me during my recoveries. Will Devers, I'm so thankful for the effort you put into spurring on first priority at our school. Meeting on Tuesday mornings has been a sweet, encouraging blessing. Kristen Whitaker, you do so much hard work for youth soccer in our area that goes unnoticed. I'm thankful for all that you do. Miss Baumgartner, I've loved having your classes the past three years, and I'm thankful for your patience as well as the opportunities you've helped us obtain. Mr. Newton, you made me realize that I love art and you've changed my perspective on many different things. Coach McPherson, I wish that you would have come to the Gap sooner. I loved your weightlifting class and your bonus history lessons. Miss Sizemore, you're such a sweet woman and I'm thankful for how you, much you care. Your support for the girls soccer team meant so much to us. I owe many of my happy memories to soccer, whether that be dancing before games, sacred one-touch passes, or making school history at the state tournament. I'm gonna to miss you girls so very much. Beyond that, I'm grateful for friends that have stayed supportive and kind. I'm appreciative of the many helpful coaches and teachers along the way. I'm blessed to have a church family that lifts me up, and I'm beyond thankful for the new people that have come into my life like huge beaming rays of sunshine. So to the class of 2023 and everyone listening today, I hope that you all find joy and peace in God's loving promises for your future. And the best thing I could advise you to do would be to walk in the freedom God has created for you. The next valedictorian speaking is Afton Payne. Good morning. Good morning, class of 2023. Congratulations, we finally did it. 
The early mornings, long days, and late nights after procrastinating the whole week. Everything has led up to this moment, graduation. While writing the speech, I had no idea what I wanted to say. Of course, there's the hundreds of thank yous to the many people that are responsible for me being here today. However, I have to make this short, so I will. The first thank you is to my amazing teachers. From floor culture competitions with Ms. Jessie, to asking Mr. Davis for a little advice, to getting some reassurance from Ms. Sizemore when it just wasn't my year. I guess I should also thank my amazing family for always being there. Thanks to my parents for always pushing me to do my best constantly, and to my little brother for being my biggest supporter. Of course, there's also my friends for being my shoulders to cry on. I can't go without thanking God for my salvation as well. Now that those are out of the way, let's recap some of the highlights. At the top of the list, we have a runner-up state title in soccer with my favorite girls. Thank you to our coaches, Lori and Kristen, for keeping us motivated, especially against Oneida or Claiborne. Next to that is track. While I spent half the season following Kennedy around with a clipboard, I wouldn't trade a minute of it. From drawing lucky frogs every meet to team meals discussing the Muppets, there was never a dull moment. Thank you to Kennedy for pushing me to be a better athlete and Steve for always keeping a smile on my face. I also have to mention my favorite AT, who I'm sure is very tired of having to check on me every season. Thanks, Mara. Back to the real stars of the show, the class of 2023. When we walked in on the first day of freshman year, we had no idea what lay ahead. Freshman year on a Chromebook in 2020 was definitely not ideal, but we made it work. Fast forward four short years, and now we walk out of these halls just wishing for a few extra minutes. Well, time's up and the rest of our lives await. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, class of 2023. The next valedictorian speaking is Haley Pendleton. Today is the day we close a huge chapter in our lives and begin to write a new one. Today is the day that our friends and family join us in celebrating being a proud graduate of Cumberland Gap High School. Since kindergarten, high school graduation was the goal. Looking back, there are many people who have helped us get to this very moment. For me, I will forever be grateful to the teachers, administrators, counselors, coaches, friends, and family, each having their own impact on me, my journey, and the person I am today. Special thanks to my elementary and middle school teachers. They certainly provided a strong foundation for helping me to accomplish all that I have and being here before you today. Miss Ashley and Miss Jennifer, I will never eat a Laffy Taffy or a Pete Marshmallow without thinking of you. Miss Heather, your words certainly rang true after middle school. You will see this again. And sure enough, in every English class and every paper I had to write, there was a moment where I could hear your voice. Miss Brandy, you're one of a kind. You set a positive example for so many. And even when we aren't making the best choices, you still remind us that we were loved. Also, I would like to take a moment to remember and honor one of my favorite teachers, the late Miss Jennifer Griffin. She was a great role model and helped me and so many others both in and out of the classroom. Though she is no longer with us, she left so many great markers and a wonderful legacy for us to remember. I want to thank my best friend Riley for the good times, the bad, and every memory we've made over these past four, four years. I know that after today, we may go in different directions, but I know that no matter where we all end up, everything will work out exactly how it's supposed to. Over the course of my senior year, one thing which may sound crazy stood out to me, specifically the numbers 222. I was struggling to find my groove, balancing work, dual classes, regular school, sports, church, relationships, and family. I began to notice a set of numbers repeat, reappearing in crazy places, whether it be on a billboard, a receipt, a tag on a car, or even the time on a clock. It seemed like everywhere I looked, these numbers kept showing up. So like the procrastinator I am, I began to research the meaning of these numbers and what I found could not have been any more fitting. First, I learned that this series of numbers, like many others, are known as angel numbers, specifically 222, meaning a reminder to trust in the journey of your life and have faith in the outcome. That really hit home for me, for it connects to one of my favorite Bible verses. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 6. I knew God was trying to tell me something, and it was a sign to continue on my path because his plan is much greater than any of my fears, worries, or struggles. I was encountering. Sometimes we just need a reminder that things are going to be okay. Nothing is really ever as bad as it seems. So to my fellow classmates, when times get tough as we set out to either the workforce, military, college, have faith, believe, and trust in the plan. I give God all the glory for my worldly accomplishments that he has allowed me to complete up to this point with the help, love, and support of my friends, family, teachers, counselors, coaches, and mentors he has so richly blessed me with, and most of all for coming in my life and being with me every step of the way. 
Thank you to my late memo, Brenda, Granny Maxine, Papa and Bruce, and then Melina. I know you're looking down today proudly. I'm so honored to stand before you today and be a part of this amazing group of people. Congratulations to all of us, class of 2023. We did it. The final valedictorian speaking is Miss Abigail Welch. Hello, everyone. Those were a lot of tough acts to follow, but I don't have much to say, so I'll keep it short and sweet for y'all. Congratulations, class of 2023. We all made it, yay. <laughs> there are plenty of things said before of all these lovely valedictorians, but I've just got a few more that I would like to add. First, I wanna thank my sisters, Morgan and Kate, all the way back there, wave a little bit. Yeah, there's, you see them. Uh, for keeping me sane, how many phone calls I swear that we went through, I mean, hours long at probably 3 a.m., me losing my mind. Uh, I would also like to thank my mother for keeping me on track, or at least trying to. And all of my friends, my best friends, and everybody else that I've met here for making these years memorable. If you guys can hear me, sorry. I would like to let, uh, thank Lori Kimbrough, my coach, and Mr. Newton, hey Mr. Newton, for the support they've shown me all these four years. My message to you is to remember to be kind to others, but most of all, be kind to yourself. If there is anyone who tells you that you don't deserve what you have or you're a try hard, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. It's not selfish to know your worth. Make mistakes, learn, and grow as a person. Life is a journey, and we all have such a long road ahead of us. I wish you all luck, whether I'm part of your life or not. Thank you. What an impressive group. At this time, I'll be handing out the Panther Award. Each year, the faculty selects a student that goes above and beyond the daily activities of a high school student. This year, they have selected a person that has an amazing passion for others, their school, and their family. This student has represented our senior class and our school with honor. It is my privilege to, prevent, to present this year's Panther of the Year Award to Mr. Ross Lee. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Bob Oakes as he will come forward and confer the, your degree. Thank you. Now the moment everybody has been waiting for. At this time, it is my honor with the trust of the Claiborne Board of Education in the authority of the state of Tennessee to confirm the degree that you've earned. We are so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations and the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Graduates, please rise. Our first graduate, Miss Alexis Darlene Akers. Jace Tyler Bailey. Kellen Elaine. Baird. <laughs> Jacob C. Barton. <laughs> Kirsten J. Baumgartner. <laughs> Good. 
Cooper Lynn Beeler. Emily Nicole Barry. Michaela M. Barry. Darian B. Blaine. Abigail Emily Bradford. Taylor Nicole Branscombe. Allison Elizabeth Brock. Jarrett Camden Brock. Christian I. Brooks. Jacob B. Brown. Camden Michael Brunsma. Ethan A. Bullens. Jacob Hunter Burchett. Lavana S. Burdett. Zachary A. Bussell. Devin Dwayne Bird. William Benjamin Campbell. Eowyn Elizabeth Caps. Tyler Quentin Carroll. Grayson Bryce Chumley. Hannah J. Clark. Gibbs, Jeremiah Cochran. Braylon J. Cornett. Carter, Delane, Daniels. Jace, Daniels. Isaiah, Justin, Daniels. Jacob S. Daniels. <laughs> Jeffrey Ashton Daniels. <laughs> Peyton. Nolan Daniels. <laughs> Carrie Danielle Dixon. <laughs> Ashley 
Alexander Hayes Douglas. Ryan Matthew Douglas. Rollin S. Douglas. Joseph Tristan Dykes. Serena Renee Elliott. Braden A. Ellison. Brawley Rose Ellison. Emily Grace Ellison. Trenton A. Evans. Kyle D. Figueroa. Naomi May Garner. Tyler E. Girding. Brianna Elaine Goins. Haley Nicole Good. Ron Alexander Griffin. Mackenzie Leanne Hatfield. Jaden Faith Heck. James Bailey Hedrick. Scott Daniel Holloway. Camden M. Hoskins. Edward Lee Hoskins. Tyler William Hoskins. Braden Timothy Howard. Brianna G. Hurst. Riley Nicole Hurst. Colby L. Isabel.
Alexis Brooke Jenkins. Matthew Jacob Jesse. Alexandria H. Johnson. Morgan Grace Johnson. Natalie Drew Johnson. Roger Roland Jones. Hannah Grace Joyce. Riley Alexander Justice. Morgan Lee Kinsler. Gavin C. Lane. Jacob R. Lee. Ross Braden Lee. Eliza Dakota Jane Light. Preston Michael Lemons. Caleb Michael Lester. Cooper Ryan Lewis. John Landon Massengill. Seth Allen Massengill. Abby Grace Mayfield. Caitlin M. Michael. McKinley Miracle. Kelsey Marie Mize. Alisa Morelli. Carly Annalise Napier. Cynthia Nieves Acosta. John Dylan Noah. Lily Ruth Norris. Tristan R. Aller. Tyler J. Aller. Bethany Faith Osborne. Rebecca Grace Parker. (laughs) 
Logan Daniel Patterson. Afton Nicole Payne. Haley Danielle Pendleton. Madison Riley Prater. Alyssa Brennan Ramsey. Cara Laura Ann Ramsey. Luke Braden Lopez Robert. Traylon Gage Rogers. Samuel J. Seals. Jared Nathan Shepard. Nolan T. Sneed. Kiara M. Sockwell. C.J. Sturgill. Bill J. Serber. Aaron Matthew Van Orstrom. William Kobe Weaver. <laughs> Abigail Hope Welch. <laughs> Shelby Danielle Weldon. Logan Ethan Wilder. Riley Lachey Wilder. Austin Whitley Williams. Krista Ann Wilson. Wesley Ty Wilson. Graduates, please rise. At this time, please move your tassels to the left.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to present to you the newest alumni class of Cumberland Gap High School, the class of 2023.